of the historians, all of them, they believe why Islam lose that power. Why? What was the reason Islam lose that real high position they have in, in the world? And they start to counting different reason why we lose that power. One of the reason they count, they said the reason they when they start and they begin to establish to establishing and improving Islam in the world, all of them they were mukhlis and muwahid. All of them they believe in the way they start. And they sacrifice everything they have in their life. Doesn't matter if you're talking about family, doesn't matter about their wealth, even their life. They sacrifice everything in the way of Allah, in the way of Islam. Why? Because they believe in Islam. They want Islam because based on what Islam is, not based on what Islam have. But the time passed and the people changed. The people they working for Islam not because of Allah. Not because of ikhlas. They are working because of the position. They are working for power. And that's the start from the time of Ali alayhi salam. Eleven pure person. If we count Hazrat Zahra, twelve pure person except the Prophet, they killed because of the people, they want the power. We come to this conclusion. If all of that people, they get the real position of the successor of Allah's, and they sit in a position they don't deserve it, if they really believe in one God, if they really were muwahid, we never have this problem. And that's the reason all of our Imams, they killed by the hand of Muslim. Even our seventh Imam killed by Jews, Sandi ibn Shahag, he did, he killed Imam by the order of a Muslim Caliph. It's the same thing, he's killed by a Muslim. It was just a tool. All of our Imam killed by Muslim. What kind of Muslim? They choose their will, their desire as a God. They don't obey Allah. They never obey and they never listen to the, that God Allah is talking in the Quran. They listen, okay, what I want. What's the solution? What is the fastest way we want to reach to Allah? What is the fastest way we can reach Bir and Khair? What is the fast and best way to reach righteousness? Allah in Quran said, لَن تَنَالُوا الْبِرُ حَتَّى تُنْفِغُوا إِمَّا تُحِبُّونَ Lan is negative, means you cannot, you never, not for a certain amount of time, no, never. You never can reach bare righteousness, niki, hubi. You cannot reach that until the time you spend what you like, what you love. Until the time you donate, you sacrifice what you love. And that's one of the meaning and one of the real meaning of practical monotheism, practical tawheed, tawheed amali. In the way of Allah, in front of Allah, we shouldn't see anything except Allah. That's the meaning of it. There is no God but God. There is no God, you can call it Hawa Nafs. There is no God, you call it family. There is no God, you call it power, whatever you call it. There is only one God you should obey, and that's Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yek das the mushafu 
یک دست به جام گه نزد حلال و گه نزد حرام One of the beautiful poem I hear that from Shaykh Mutahari always he, he read this poem that was a very beautiful poem Some people they are this kind of people One of their hand is in Quran and another hand is in Haram Sometimes they are in Halal Sometimes they are in Haram And that's the people they are not very they are not really Muwahid If you're Muwahid you always should obey just one God not sometimes your will your desire and sometimes the Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the only powerful and great and the high power in the world is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he deserved to obey him in everything and just a brief introduction we said about Najul Balagha and a small history of Najul Balagha and we start inshallah one of the hikmat of Najul Balagha, hikmat 289 inshallah we try to count the qualities of brother for Imam Ali the qualities the people they deserve call themselves brother or friend for Ali inshallah we start this discussion in the next week and uh, we have a small we have a really, really short discussion about monotheism, tawheed, practical monotheism and one of the way we can be a real muwahid and we can respect monotheism is we start from disrespect and ignore our hawa and our desire in front of desire and wills of Allah first the wills and desire of Allah and after that anything else inshallah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the power and inshallah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us to learn more about Nahjul Balagha and Quran and especially to know Ahlul Bayt alayhim as -salam, in our life because they are the real way we can reach the real message of the Prophet and we can reach the real message of Quran the only way they are Ahlul Bayt إِنِّي تَارِكٌ فِيكُمُ الثَّقَلَيْنِ كِتَابَ اللَّهِ وَعِطْرَتِي The only way we can reach the real meaning of Islam is having both of them together the Holy Quran and Ahlul Bayt alayhim as salam Salla ala Muhammadin wa ala Muhammad Agar sual ya ashton صحبت ما بر اساس همین بود که اگر هر کسی سوالی در در رابطه با موضوع منبر در آخر شروع بکنه ان شاء الله در خدمت هستیم سوالی که در رابطه با موضوع منبر باشه if you have any question about the topic about the speech uh, you can ask now just please about the speech if you have another question write it down ان شاء الله we try to answer in the next time but this time is just for asking a question about the speech No question. Waiting is not going to help. Okay. Inshallah, if you have a question, you cannot ask, you embarrassed in front of people, write it down. It's okay. During the member, if you didn't understand, if you have a question, write it down. Inshallah, we try to uh, answer the question. I think it's a good idea I give to the people. Alhamdulillah, they serve a lot. They just if you can just give the people a piece of paper and just uh, give them the paper to write a question if they have maybe sometimes they have a question yes alhamdulillah we're fine mm -hmm. one of the reasons um, some even western scholar and eastern scholar they believe star Islam start losing that power in the first time Islam began to establishing in a, that environment Europe, China, Iran and different kind, of, uh, different kind of countries in that area first of all I said because they lose ikhlas they lose the real belief they have in God for example first day they start to do whatever they have to sacrifice whatever they have for Islam but later they start to sacrifice everything they have 
to get the position and the power, not because of Allah. إِنَّ الَّذِينَ قَالُوا رَبُّنَ اللَّهِ ثُمَّ